Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Jason Abraham, and welcome to the Mendota Ranch. All right. All right, so here, here's the plan for the day. Um, Amos and Moses is my team of perchins I've had for a while. And truthfully, I haven't hooked them up in a long time. So I didn't work them any this summer. And so it's been the summer and then the fall, I guess I hadn't worked them. So it's been six, eight months. I don't know, it's been a while. So, um, so and I got some new harness. And so it's a couple days before Christmas here. And it's a beautiful day here today. So I thought, well, we got to break the ice at some point. So the ice is, we got, we're going to get them. We're going to see if we can catch them. Moses is easy to catch. Amos is a turd. I'm going to get them in. Let's get them on the walker. Let's get that harness out. I've got some new collars and some new harness. And let's make sure it's kind of adjusted right. And then let's get them harnessed up. We'll trot them around here a little bit. Just make sure we don't have a just complete wreck. And the goal is to get them hooked to the wagon, not have a runoff, go feed some cows. Hopefully the battery's not completely dead and uh, knock the fresh off of them. Just kind of, normally that's what I do is go feed with them. So I don't know. I bet you we won't get there all the way. It's going to be, we're going to have, have, I bet we have a wreck between now and then. So let's see what, let's go get them caught and get them on the walker and get that harness going. So the, we're not going to do anything in the arena today because they're putting all new, I'm getting all new doors or doors redone in my indoor arena. Pretty much where they're all going to be automatic doors. So there's a lot of noise going on in here. So we're going to do everything outside today so y'all don't have to listen to this crap. All right, so here we go. All right, let's see if we can get Moses caught first. Been so long since I've caught him, even my buckle's rusted. What'd you do to your head? What'd you hit your head on? Oh man, your mane is a mess. Amos! <laughs> Moses, why can't he be just like you, huh? You're, you're need to work on your feet a little bit, bub. Uh, so, so here's here's the plan. We're gonna get Moses, go tie him to the fence, and Amos is gonna think we're gonna go without him, so then he'll decide that he won't be caught. Sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? See you, Amos. Come on, Moses. I might have to run him in the stall, we'll see. Amos, you ain't as tough as you think you are. That was the plan to start with. That's why I latched that gate. I knew he'd go in there with Moses, so now we, we got him now. Amos is just an asshole just all there is to it. If he comes out, it's gonna be rapid. Big horse. I know, I know. You're gonna be tired time days over, I hope. Oop, here we go. Let's fix your let's fix your altar. Alright, here we go. We're rolling. Now we're cooking with gas. They're fresh, fresh, fresh. Come here. Come here. All right, here we go. Now, let's try it like this, okay? Hey, get your ass around this way. I think we better put them on the walker. Let's knock some of this fresh off of them. 
thing about these big horses are, if they don't want to do it, there ain't much I can do about it. Right? Come here. Come here. Let me tie one of them up. All right, we got them to the walker. They're fresh, 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 fresh. So now, let's go in. I'm gonna grab that new harness and um, kind of make sure it's adjusted right. So let's drag it out here and kind of get it set up. So I had them backwards leading out here and that was a problem. One of the problems, um, Amos, well Amos is an asshole number one, but Amos has got a bad eye over here on his left side. And so normally I put Moses over here and, and then Amos, so that, well, that way they kind of they kind of help each other along and, and I get along fine then, but I had them flip flopped leading them over here and that's why they were so goofy acting. So hopefully they get better when we get them hooked to the wagon. Cause I'm telling you when you have a runaway at the wagon, it is not a good time. So anyways, I ordered this harness and it's bio harness. So it's not actually leather and it's supposed to be normally bio harness is super light. And that's what I ordered. Well, then the, the guy that ordered it for me, which he's a super nice guy, and he said, man, I got you a great deal on this harness. I'm like, oh, great, whatever. So I go to pick it up. Well, it's not the harness I ordered. It's like this parade harness. It's got all these metal buttons all over this crap. And he was so fired up about it, I couldn't tell him that I couldn't tell him I didn't want it, so I took it. And it just pisses me off because it's not, it's not the harness I wanted. But you know, you always have those people that think they're doing you a favor and it's actually not a favor. So I didn't want parade harness. But that's what I got. So let's go get it drug out. And, uh, and I got these new collars that are adjustable collars and I don't know if they're worth a damn or not, but we're gonna try them today too. I'm not gonna put, I got some bigger bits. I'm gonna put ring snaffles in them today. So let's grab this harness and then we'll, it's covered in dust, brand new harness that's covered in dust. All right. And I want to get them adjusted before before I before I put them on. Uh, so I need to I need to let them out. You know, Budweiser came here and stayed one time. They brought all the draft horses down here and stayed. They were traveling through. Um, used to they had a they had a, a team out of San Antonio. And I knew them and, and uh, they were coming through. They go, hey, we're headed north. Can we swing in, stay here? I go, oh, hell yeah. So we had stalls all over there and we had a plum full of Clydesdales and we let them out in the arena, run around. Hell, all the Budweiser uh, trucks were all here and they all stayed here and cool. It was super cool. I, I mean, I, I love that deal. Ah. All right, one down. We're getting pretty close now. So, so this is hard to adjust when it's on the horse. So I've got that adjusted where I think it's gonna fit the collar. The rest of it I need to adjust when I, after, we get it, after we get it on the horse. It'll be nice if they'll stand still for us while we do that. Yeah, so. I've always wanted to be able to just do this every day, but I never, I never have the time. I'm gonna get Moses off first, cause Moses, I think it's gonna take it better. So we'll get Moses off first, and then we're gonna make Amos keep going. Oh no, I'm gonna let Amos stop. I'm gonna let, cause Amos has got a little, he's either acting like he's limping or he's got a little limp to him. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if this thing will slide over his head or not. Is this gonna slip? Is this gonna fit over your head? Yep. <clears throat> nice. Come here, Moses. Are you kidding me? All right. Boy, hey! Look at you, son of a bitch! Freaking rubber mat, son of a bitch! Come here, Moses. You're gonna be my good boy too. Come in here. Come in here. 
gotta find another halter for you. Get in here. That's what that's what I get for trying to do him outside here instead of doing it in the barn, you know. Normally I harness him in here, and so there's never never any rubber mats. But with all this freaking Tejano music in here, I didn't want to do that. Dang it! All right, let me go get a new halter. If those horses want to break something, they're gonna break it. There ain't no. There's nothing holding. There's no way you can really, you know, build a halter big enough to freaking hold anything that big. All right, let's see if this one's close to the... All right, let's try, try something different here. All right, please don't sit back now. All right, here we go. Amos, you're up, buddy. Oh, but doesn't work. Keep backing up. crawling under him quite yet. All right, we're getting there. Slowly, but surely. Okay, so the harness, harness is on. It's pretty adjusted. I need a little more adjustments, but I kind of want to pull the stretch out of it some. Let's go use it a little bit, then come back and stretch it like these britching. I'd like to have that britching up about there. Dang it. Okay, drink of water. And we hook them up, and let's, let's hope we don't haul ass. Okay, back, back. Oh, easy, easy there. All right, let's go. Step up easy, go easy. I'm just gonna drive them around here in a yard a minute and just make sure we're all hitting on all cylinders here. Step up, Moses. There you go. Good. Good. Moses. There you go. Good. Whoa. 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 Step up. Step over. Step over. Step over. Step over. Whoa. Back. 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 Oh, oh, oh. All right, it's a moment of truth. I'm gonna try to take off and go that way. We'll see how far we get. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's go. Easy, easy guys, easy here. Easy, easy buddies. Step up. Step 
We haven't rolled the wagon over yet. I'm having a good time. This is so enjoyable. Man, you know, I always say I'm like going, one of these days I'm gonna get everything just right and then I'm just gonna have me a team of horses or a team of mules and I'm just gonna go feed a couple pastures every day and then catch a couple horses. Let's go. I got this wagon in, I traded for a team of mules and this guy had this wagon sitting there and I was like, dang, that's a cool wagon. And I, he practically gave it to me. I freaking love it. it. It rides super nice. It's got suspension on it and fancy brakes. And so I jerked some stuff off and just put that cake feeder on there. And I've got a little battery underneath the seat. And it's a comfortable, got a nice cushy seat. I tell you what though, when you got a nice pretty ranch like this and a nice pretty day, there's nothing better than just driving a team. You know, used to I had all the horses. And so then when I had all those draft, all the uh, mares, we'd come out and feed them hay. And man, that was, that was so much fun, especially in the snow. And I love this stuff. Every time I do it, I'm like, man, I, I should do this every day. Step up, step up. I like, I like listening to the chains. You can, you can tie them chains up where like you flip them back up inside themselves. Well, they don't make so much racket, but I, I enjoy listening to them when we're trotting along. These are some of these old cows that we got in the other day. I got them down here in the creek. One time I had a team of mules. We were in Higgins, Texas. I was, I don't know, I was probably, I was just out of college maybe. And so we were testing this team of mules and I was working with this guy and we had about 40 bales of hay on the back of the wagon. And we were driving through town there in Higgins, headed to the other side of town to feed some cows. And that tire popped and I mean freaking, I mean when it popped it sounded like a gun went off. And then mules grabbed their ass and hauled ass and we had hay scattered to one end of the town to the other end of town. It was freaking crazy as what ride. We came back on a flat tire, took all our hay up, went and fed our cows. We fed the rest of the day with a flat tire. Got her done though. But if you want something that'll scare the shit out of you, you get a team of horses or a team of mules running off. Man, that is scary. Well, all right, we all got back in one piece. All the, the new harness worked good, fine. Uh, Amos was a standard asshole to start with. Worked out good at the end though. Wagon still in one piece. We fed some bulls, got some cows fed. It wasn't a complete wreck. We broke a halter. That went, that went like 90% better than I thought it would have. I, I really thought one of us was probably gonna die. So it was good. So maybe I won't let them sit so long. I'll start hooking them up and working them more. But. All right, as usual, I always appreciate a thumbs up. And hey, y'all need to subscribe and, and, and hit the notification because we're working on a live feed where actually I'm, I can live feed out of the helicopter. Um, and and that also I can use it to live feed the deer, but the live feed out of the helicopter would be some of the shooting I do and then some of the, uh, the firefighting and stuff like that where we got multiple cameras and doing a live feed. So um, yeah, so if I'm live, you need to be notified. So be sure to subscribe and notify. I get a, hit the bell, so. All right, as usual, thanks for watching and we'll catch y'all next week. Oh boys, oh boys.